If you have been looking for a cheap 3D printer that is easy to build and works without too much modifications but still gives you absolutely amazing results like this turning vase that was printed in just 45 minutes, this might be the printer for you. This is the Tevo Tarantula do-it-yourself 3D printer and can be found on AliExpress for under $200 with free shipping. The printer arrived only one week later and the packing was impeccable. Thick foam surrounded each component and not a scratch was found on a single part which is really cool. Some of the main parts are the E3D Bowden extruder, stepper motors, MKS base motherboard, LCD display with a rotary knob instead of push buttons, S312 power supply with an integrated fan, a 200 by 200 heated bed, black aluminium profiles, acrylic parts and organized bags of nuts and bolts for each step mentioned in the provided manual. And they even include two rolls of filament, one PLA and one ABS. I began by removing the paper from all the acrylic parts. The manual was very easy to follow, the components needed for each step was clearly stated, all I had to do was grab the parts and start building. Most 3D printers on the market right now, within the same price range, uses linear bearings, but the Tarantula uses wheels that significantly decreases the noise level of your printer. Just like all the 3D printers under $500, the power supply included in the kit is open, meaning you will have to wire mains voltages. Be careful when doing this, the wiring should look like this. Once the wiring to the motherboard was done, I performed the most important calibration procedure in order to achieve the perfect results, leveling the heated bed. And basically the nozzle and bed will have a very slim distance between them and should be the same wherever the extruder is. I grabbed my filament of choice, heated up the extruder and pushed it in the Bowden extruder. Using Simplify 3D, I prepared the Moai statue as my first printing object with these settings. I inserted the included SD card and started the printing process. Needless to say, it turned out quite bad, with poor layer adhesion and the overhangs not properly in place, mainly due to lack of cooling as the tarantula didn't arrive with fans for this purpose. I got two of these super cheap turbo fans and printed this bracket to hold them in place, all of which you can find links to in the description below. After installing the cooling fans, I started the same Moai statue print once again. The result was significantly better, but not perfect. To achieve the perfect print, we have to make a couple of other changes. 
The first upgrade you have to do is printing a spool holder. I quickly made one using Fusion 360 and is now available on Thingiverse.com for you guys to download. The C-mount is not stiff enough to the point where it will leave visible distortions in the C-axis of your print. Thingiverse.com has a great selection of prints you can download for free and I was lucky enough to find a reinforced C-axis mount for the tarantula. Once it was complete, I removed the C-motor and dug out a couple of spare nuts and bolts that was included in the kit. I slid the new mount onto the frame and the result was significant. After installing the cooling nozzle, spool holder and the reinforced C-mount, I was able to print the perfect Moai statue at 0.2mm layer height. At this point I was curious to see how the printer would handle ABS filament, something for example the Anit A8 cannot do because of the heated bed not reaching high enough temperature. The bed is not good enough and you need the high temperature in order to avoid problems like warping. However, the bed of the tarantula was exceptional. Not only did it heat up way faster, it was able to reach 110 degrees without any problems, though I decided to use 95 degrees. The Moai turned out decent, but for a proof of concept I was happy with the results either way. There is a couple of key differences between the Anit A8 and the Tarantula that is within the same price range. One huge difference is the type of extruder. The Anit A8 is a direct drive and the Tarantula is a Bowden. A Bowden extruder is great because it's less weight for the X motor to move around and can handle higher speeds a lot better. So I set up both printers running at 100 millimeters a second, which is considered to be quite high speeds for printers in this price range. After 56 minutes, the tarantula was finished. Ten minutes later, the Anit A8 was done and the quality difference was substantial. With the tarantula on the right and the A8 on the left, you can clearly see the tarantula performed a lot better at higher speeds. It's especially visible if you look at the chimney or the edges of the cabin. I also thought it would be interesting to compare the noise levels of the two printers as I know this could be a concern for some users. With the tarantula off and the A8 printing with a moderate speed setting, the average noise level is 58. This time with the tarantula printing, the average noise level is down to 53, which is a huge difference and is definitely something to keep in mind depending on where you plan to place your printer. Here is a quick recap of my review, now the packaging was excellent, they didn't just throw everything in a brown box, they took the time to make sure the product would arrive free from damage, which is really cool. Uh, the building process was very enjoyable, it took me around 5 hours to put together and is definitely something I would recommend to anyone as it is a great way to learn more about electronics and uh, technology in general. It does require a couple of modifications to provide you with the best results, uh, the most important ones being the cooling nozzle, the spool holder and the reinforced C-mount. Printing ABS can be very tricky, it's much more temperature sensitive than PLA and I was really happy that the included heated bed performed remarkably. It reached way higher temperatures than any other Chinese printer I have been reviewing, also the artwork on the bed is pretty nice too. 
In conclusion, it performs amazingly. The, the overall printing quality is excellent, the noise level is low and uh, it can handle higher printing speeds extremely good. So make sure you follow the top link in the description and uh, check it out. Have a nice day. Bye.